Hey everybody, it's Dick here. I'm on it. I'm on my baby. I'm on my favorite bike that I've ever owned. My 2005 Yamaha FZ6. Hey everybody, it's Dick here. Today I'm on my 2005 Yamaha FZ6S. I've mentioned this bike a lot in a number of my videos, but I haven't actually done a motovlog on it as it lives in another country than I do, and I only occasionally ride it in the summertime and if I have the opportunity to go on a tour. The FZ6 is a four-stroke transverse four-cylinder dual overhead cam, four-valve engine. It's 599 cc's, fuel-injected, liquid-cooled, wet clutch. It has 98 horsepower, 63.1 newton meters of torque, chain driven. It has a beautiful aluminum twin spar frame. The front suspension is a 43 millimeter telescoping fork that delivers 5.1 inches of travel. It has a mono shock under the seat at the rear. Front brakes are dual 298 millimeter discs with Nissan calipers. The rear brake is a single 245 millimeter disc, also Nissan. What do you say? It's a uh, beautiful, beautiful bike, and it's one of my favorite bikes that I've ever owned. So let's take it for a ride. 600cc inline four sport tour, down tuned from that year's R6 sport bike. Red line at 14,000 RPM. I love this bike. I've had it from new, and because I moved to England soon after getting it, it only has 7,000 miles on it. That 7,000 miles is all touring miles. I'm gonna take it easy because I've literally just pulled the cover off it, and I'm bringing it up to get inspected at the local shop. It still has all of the barn dust and shit all over it. I did a once over checking all the fluids and the battery and the brakes and everything, lights and all that stuff to make sure it was roadworthy. But I'm gonna take it easy and, and baby it up the hill until I get the inspection and I get the okay that the bike is ready to go for a long ride. And then I will definitely be bringing this thing out for a ride. I love this motorcycle. This motorcycle is the best of all worlds. It's got really, really good power distribution but you can cane it. You can just tear ass on this thing. You're a little bit leaned forward, but you got mid controls. So it's kind of, it's kind of funny seating position. The handlebars have this high riser, but then they drop back down a little. So you're leaning forward over this very sculptural tank, but it's a, it's a beauty. It's a beauty. And I've never, knock on wood, had an issue with this bike. And I have an absolute love affair with it. I dream of this bike when I'm not with it. I compare every other bike I ride to it. This is one of those gems that fall within the sweet spot bikes, like the 2015 to the 2018 CB500X, that Suzuki 650 twin, this thing. There's some sweet spot bikes, and this is definitely one of them. And here we are, Lane's Yamaha, Watkins Glen, New York. These guys just tick along selling Yamahas. and hopefully they'll tell me that this thing is roadworthy. Ooh, what's that? It's a root beer colored thing in there. It is insured, inspected, and registered. And the moment it was road legal, the skies opened up with the most violent storm I've experienced in years. And I've been in some doozies over the past couple of years. But this storm, flash floods, tornadoes, lightning stretching across the sky and hitting down on the ground, it was insane. And I knew, I knew the heavens were jealous of me and my baby being reunited. Now there's another storm meant to be coming this afternoon, but before that happens, I'm taking this baby out for a ride. Now here's a biker. America, they wave. Yeah. Hey, that's my mechanic. 
he rides a great, great bike. It's a Tenere dad. Harley guys don't wave. Harley guys are too cool for anyone who's not on a Harley. And lately it's anyone who's not on a Harley bagger. So they can go f themselves, I'm gonna wave anyway. My mechanics, my well I should say my American mechanics, my American Yamaha mechanics, I got a couple of mechanics around the world actually, but my American Yamaha mechanic rides a Tenere 1200 that has a tow hitch. You can see him towing his dirt bikes around on his Tenere. It's pretty awesome. But I'm gonna go for a ride. Hopefully the roads that I like around here aren't flash flooded from last night, but already I'm happy to be back on this bike. I do think the chain's a little dry, so I am going this way to stop by the shop to get a little chain lube so I don't f the chain in the sprockets. But after that, we're gonna go exploring. Let's see about, well, maybe we'll go around the whole lake. Ooh, there it is, there's a bolt. Ooh, I've never known anyone to ride a bolt. Well, it might be the same guy from yesterday. Oh yeah, new rubber, take that easy. SCR 950. That was an American. Couldn't get a lot of those overseas, but they're V twin 950. It's the Sportster killer. It's not going to kill it, but belt drive, Kevlar belt drive, gas shocks. It's pretty nice. Shares the uh, tail light with the XSR. Chains lubed. Now I realize I'm out of gas. <laughs> oh man, it'll start raining as soon as I. There's the clouds. F you. It'll start raining. There's a place down in town, since there's a big racing, since there's a big racing culture, there's a place down in town that sells race gas, no ethanol. Since these bikes are stored most of the year, I don't put the uh, ethanol treated American gas in this thing. Uh, so it looks like this video is going to be me running errands, but hopefully we'll get some time on the bike. Even when you're running errands, you got time on the bike. This thing is such a blast to ride, even just puttering around in town. It, it is a four cylinder, inline four, and it's got power to spare, but it is a triumph. It is just a joy, joy to ride. I've put one of these cramp busters on for the last tour I went on on this thing, and I forgot how wonderful that little piece of plastic is in terms of re relaxing your hand. I don't want to slow down too fast because I have a big, I have a big old Chevy truck hauling some sort of house behind it. Little wannabe motorhome. But I also don't want to get a ticket from the resident goose steppers. I don't know what it is with American police lately, but they're all wearing uniforms that are reminiscent of the SS. And they're kind of paramilitary organizations now. I went to the DMV in this sleepy little town I put my stuff through a x-ray machine, walked through a metal detector, and there's a sign out front saying no liquids allowed in the building. Now there was a mass shooting in that building, I think probably about 20 years ago now, but the whole liquid thing kills me. Americans are afraid of everything and they always need an enemy, and it's a really it's a really scary way to live. Because if you always need an enemy, then how do you define yourself when you're standing alone? Anyway, I digress. I'm sorry, baby, I'm in the wrong gear. I Like I said, this thing can accelerate like nobody's business, but it is really easy to just to, to roll on that throttle. I mean, the R6 and the R1 of this generation, if you were 
twitchy with your throttle hand, you were on your back wheel instantly. I mean, it was very, very easy to wheelie. It was almost dangerous. But the detuning on this, I think it's only about 10 horsepower, but it is so much more tame. Ooh, I know a good road over by the gas station. Ooh, okay. All right, we're gonna go a different way back. Maybe we can try and find the old race course. That would be fun. I so wanna filter, but New York does not allow filtering. I might just do it cheekily. I'll say I'm in the turning lane. Now that's a horn. Yeah, the Triumph horns that I've been riding this summer have been really pathetic. My audio cut out right as I was pulling up to the gas station, so I apologize for a voiceover here. I needed fresh gas, and when I'm in town, I go to Lakes Gas out in Montour Falls, New York. Lakes Gas has ethanol-free gas. It also has race gas because there's a race culture up in Watkins Glen. It has 110 octane. You know, you can get involved in an argument with anyone about whether octane means anything or you're paying extra for octane. 110 octane or 90 octane ethanol-free gas is good for a bike that's stored most of the time. And it's good to get some nice, clean, non-ethanol gas through your engine and your fuel injectors when you get a chance to ride your bike. There's plenty of information online about why ethanol is bad for motorcycles. It's definitely bad for motorcycles that are stored. Exposure to alcohol can rust metal fuel system parts, warp or otherwise damage parts of rubber, plastic, and other sealing materials. Ethanol soaks up water from everything, including the air around it. Once the alcohol in the gasoline is soaked up enough water, it causes phase separation and water contamination to your fuel. It reduces the fuel's shelf life and creates engine deposits. With carburetors, it'll gum up the carburetors. So if you have a chance to run non-ethanol gas for your bike, I recommend it. Okay, we got a full tank of gas. The bike's warmed up. It's registered, it's insured, it's inspected. The chain is lubed. What more you want from me, guys, but I wanna go for a ride. I've been having some issues with my audio as well, so hopefully it works. Either way, I'm going for a ride, whether you guys join me or not. We're gonna go for a ride over that mountain. Where those two mountains meet, that little valley between there, there should be a road that goes up and goes back towards the racetrack over that mountain. Pretty twisty, but I don't know, one, what that cloud's gonna do, and two, I don't know what the roads look like after yesterday's storm, but we're going to uh, check it out because I've been dreaming about riding this bike, like I said. even on this little county highway. The, the curves are kind of sweepy. that you don't see for a long time, but you know when you see them, it's gonna be like nothing's changed. And you know those are the closest friends you have, even if you haven't seen them for years. This bike is one of those friends. how fast I was going. The cops do like to nab you through here. There's a goat licking his balls over there. Little shack ranch on a highway with a goat licking his balls. 
Only in America. Actually, probably Romania too, I don't know. There's a little bit of sunshine. Dry these roads, baby. Dry these roads. Ah, just uh, delivering a log cabin. God, 40 feels like it's crawling. There's a Honda VTX over there for sale. I have a problem. Every time I see a bike out on the lawn for sale, I start considering it. I know, don't get jealous, baby. You're my number one. The problem is if, if I had this in London, I wouldn't be able to ride it unless they charged me $12.50 a day to ride it. And although I would ride it for $12.50 a day, that's just a kick in the balls. I have a lot of vintage bikes here. And if I can get them running and insured and inspected and registered, I can ride them forever. Or at least until the gas runs out, which it will. I've been kind of lamenting the end of the petrol age, not because I like carbon emissions and climate change, and that storm yesterday was definitely a climate change storm, but we never got storms like that in this area. And you never have a tornado warning in central New York, for Christ's sake, Jesus. Anyway, I was lamenting the end of the petrol age because of the character of petrol engines, but my father-in-law has gotten a couple of golf carts to go around his motel property. <laughs> <laughs> and they're electric and I'll tell you my son and I were having a rip roar in time on those things <laughs> so maybe it'll be fun the new electric motor age oh god damn it where are you raining from where are you coming from god damn it. it's fun raining the sun is out and it's raining right when I'm about to turn on the county route 12 oh you mother fucker. where the fuck are you anyway I'm just gonna stop here a minute wipe off the lens and show you that sign that's the sign of a good time. That's like a phone number on a bar bathroom stall. Well, let's see if the rain stays behind me. No, it's shooting right in my face. Well, let's be careful because I have a sun shower. If you like that video and you want to see more like them, hit like, share, and subscribe.